Powers of X issue 6 sees Xavier remember his first time ever meeting Moira and McTaggart at a mutant fair. Xavier tells Moira he's happy because of the most wonderful dream he had of a better world where he knows his place in it. Moira reveals that dream isn't real and upon using his powers, Xavier sees just what she means. A thousand years in the future, the librarian goes to the preserve where a creature tries to attack him but the being stops the attacker saying their augmented brain is far more advanced than theirs but they should just go ahead and eat their food that he has brought. One however doesn't with the librarian saying that he means them no harm. The being is revealed to be Wolverine who says the mutants just want to be free making the librarian wonder how anyone wants something they don't know exists and thinks it's just their nature but Logan doesn't buy it saying they just want to be free and the blue being will see it given time. The librarian begins talking English which impresses Logan since he thought the language was long dead. Logan wants to know what the librarian is waiting for, learning he is waiting for Moira who arrives shortly after, saying the librarian has been eavesdropping on her and Logan's plans. The librarian says that he's been observing them since preservation is their main goal, but he's also intrigued at how they will respond to different stimuli. In other words, he's wondering what makes them tick. The being hasn't drawn any conclusions yet, but they may be nearing them and he is impressed with both Logan and Moira's need for survival over the millennium, depending on one another for it. But that all ends soon thanks to Moro begins the ascension, which is when the phalanx will descend and absorb all of post-human society and become part of the phalanx, who will then journey to the nearest black hole and merge with the god intellect inside to become a dominion. The librarian says that he's arranged to have Moira and Logan taken off world when it happens, since if they die before the phalanx makes it to the black hole, he will not become part of the Dominion and when the mutants stop the timeline then they go back to where they begun. But also if they live past the Librarian becoming Dominion then he will know them forever and not tolerate something like them having any more power. Logan wants to attack the Librarian for what he says but Moira stops him so he can finish. The being says that he's questioned the wisdom behind it all, like becoming something immaterial and not existing anymore. Therefore he was faced with a question, does he let them die and perhaps the mutants prevent them from becoming part of the collective in another timeline or does he send them away and find out himself? Moira knows the librarian wants convincing wondering what Moira would do to prevent this from happening. Logan wants to begin his revolution a little sooner thanks to the revelations in front of him and put a stop to the post-humanity. The librarian says that technically he is called Homo Novazima, the end of the evolutionary line and the last man ever. He says that it's sad that mutants thought that they were the next evolution of humanity and Logan and Moira say that they are and were, but the man points to the preserve around them, the cage that they live in. He reveals mutants are the next step and they are naturally occurring but humans mess with the natural order of things and control the building blocks of biology and technology making evolution obsolete with their own human supermen. The librarian says that the mutants thought it was the machines that would defeat them and humans used them to buy time as sentinels brought them years and nimrods brought them decades. Moira is shocked that she never saw this coming but the librarian says that she never will and maybe this is how it ends for the mutants since they have nothing to offer him and maybe immortality and divinity are his fate as well. Logan kills the librarian as Moira is shocked to learn that despite all this time waiting they found out it didn't matter in the end. But Logan says that now they know, is Moira going to do something about it? Wolverine knows what to do, unsheathing his claws as he tells Moira to cover her eyes. She refuses since now she is going to keep her eyes open from now on. Wolverine kills Moira, ending her sixth life, resetting her entire history. Xavier finishes probing Moira's mind, getting a psychic shock as he realises what happens. He is shocked to learn that they lose but Moira says it's even worse, they always lose. Xavier wants to fix this and make an appeal to their human allies but Moira just smiles, kissing him. She says that she opened her mind so that he knows what she knows all about him since she's loved and hated him through all her lives and not once in any of them has he changed. Xavier thinks it's a compliment but it's not since she needs to break the good man who believes in the goodness of others if they are to live. 
live. Moru knows that he and Eric will fight her, but this time all of them will be together. Walking with Charles, she tells him that he's been dreaming the wrong dream and it's past time that he woke up. In the present, Eric and Charles meet with Moira, bringing her tea, but Moira knows that they have greater concerns than tea. Moira learns that they now have a government and have filled the 11 of the 12 seats, the 12th being the Red King, whom Emma won't reveal who is yet. The two tell her who else is on the council, including Mr. Sinister, who only got a seat so they can keep an eye on him since he is too precious to this operation for them. The only problem is that Xavier promised to bring Destiny back for Raven, but Moira says that he cannot, since they can have no precogs on Krakoa. Charles says that they know, but Moira wonders if they really do, since what if Destiny tells everyone the truth? Xavier says that they will keep Raven at bay for as long as possible, but one day they will need to tell everyone the truth. Moira wonders if they really want people to know they always lose, and Charles tells her that this time it will be different, since he and Eric are different now. Eric and Charles go and join the celebration of Krakoa becoming its own nation, looking over what they have made. Eric wonders if it's enough, and Xavier says that it's only the start, and if that's not enough, they will do whatever it takes, and this is all there is, and they live and die for this. Eric says that he will die for it, and if Xavier raises him, he will show the world what a real mutant is. Eric says that he isn't ashamed of what he is, and wants people to try and stop them, and Xavier agrees with him. Powers of X issue 6 was an utterly fantastic ending to both this and the overall House of X storylines, setting the tone of the upcoming X-Men line of books, and also revealing the one thing that everyone kind of already knew about mutants, and that is they always lose. The cultish nature of the X-Men now still lingers with Moira basically forcing Charles to become something he never was and is and messing with his mind to do so. I'm intrigued to see if the truth does actually come out about the mutants always losing and if it does will it cause a schism in the nation and that in turn causes the mutants to lose yet again kind of set up by their own hubris which would be quite interesting. I'm very interested to see what direction these books go in since this issue and House of X and Powers of X as a whole were utterly masterful setups. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. To a